Time now for the five facts. And number five, New Mexico United will now get a special day to honor them at the state capitol. This morning, State Representative Javier Martinez and Senator Jacob Candelaria will name today, February 6th, as New Mexico United Day. The state lawmakers are set to honor the professional soccer team and their impact on the state. The event will take place at 10:30 in the rotunda. Number four, more and more generations now having to take care of aging parents with diseases like dementia and Alzheimer's while raising their own children. Enrique Nell is caring for his 89-year-old mom who has dementia while also raising his children. His youngest, only 13. He is what's been called the sandwich generation. Enrique is getting help through the Alzheimer's Association. Through the association's New Mexico chapter, he's now taking classes. The New Mexico chapter just announced condensed five-hour workshops around the state to help out families. And this morning, we're dealing with freezing temperatures plus some breezy winds. So here's a look at our current wind chill temperatures. Make sure to bundle up as you're heading out the door. It is very cold out. Number two, an Albuquerque homeless man with a violent criminal history remains behind bars this morning for allegedly shooting at two city workers. Police Raymond Owen admitted to firing a gun near two Arroyo flood control employees near his homeless camp. The incident happened back in December near the Bear Canyon Arroyo. That's off of Jefferson and I-25. An official with the Albuquerque Flood Control Authority explained that two workers were just doing their jobs and were posing no threat. The state is citing a 30-year criminal history for Owen, including three felony convictions in Michigan. In the past year, flood control AMAFCA has revamped its security measures to help keep their 22 employees safer. And at number one, we are now getting a look at the police body cam footage from the night that investigators say a suspected drunk driver killed an aspiring Albuquerque rapper. Back in November, Santa Fe police say that Diego Pichardo Rodriguez was driving the wrong way when he crashed into another vehicle, killing the driver. 28 year old Andrew Martinez, known by his stage name of Wake Self, was driving the other car. Pichardo Rodriguez denied drinking and driving. He is now charged with homicide by vehicle and DWI. Wake Self was scheduled to release his third album at Meow Wolf the week he was killed.